Hello everyone, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 4 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy only files of specific format from one ADLS folder to another using ADF pipeline. So let's see uh, the use case in details. So here you can see we have few files which are of CSV format and JSON formats. Okay. So we want to copy all the files of same format present in a folder to another folder and we need to ignore an other formats. So in our case, we want to copy only JSON format of data that is only three files out of this folder to another folder and we want to ignore all these CSV files. Okay. So how to do that using ADF pipeline. So let's see that in practical. So let me go to Azure portal. And here in our ADLS input folder, we have few files uh, that is four CSV files and three JSON files. So we want to copy only three files that is JSON format of files into ADLS output folder. Okay. So how to do that using ADF pipelines? So let's go to ADF portal and now let me start creating the pipeline. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to get all the list of files present in this folder. That means we need to get the file names present in this ADLS input folder. So we have talked about this in our previous video also that to get any kind of details or any metadata of a folder, we need to use get metadata activity. Okay, so let me drag this. And now we need to point our data set to the uh, ADLS input folder. Okay, so let me create this data set pointing to our ADLS Gen2 account. And here let me give CSV format and let me select the existing link service and in the file path let me select this ADLS input folder. So we need to get only the folder level information that is what are the file names present in that folder. So I am just selecting ADLS input folder. I am not pointing to any of these files. So let me click on OK and let me just click on none and let me click on OK. And here we have to provide which kind of metadata we need to retrieve. So in this file list uh, option, we have to give child items to get all the file names present in this folder. Okay. So let me run this once and we are expecting the output should contain uh, seven file names. Okay. Including CSV as well as JSON. Okay. So let's wait for this execution to be completed. Yes. So the get metadata output is visible. You can see we are having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven file names and it includes CSV as well as JSON. Now we need to get only the JSON file names because we want to uh, copy only JSON files from ADLS input folder to ADLS output folder. So to filter out the records, we need to use filter activity. So let me drag this let me connect these two activities and in the filters settings we need to specify what are the items we need to check in order to filter out the records okay so here let me give output of this get metadata activity as the item list okay so here we need to provide get metadata child items okay so i clicked on that and now this child items output that is this child item array will be treated as the items in this filter condition okay and each of the json present in this array will be treated as item that is single item this is one single item this is another single item okay so if we need to point out to this uh, file name then we need to give at the rate item dot name okay so let me go back to filter condition and here we want to give the condition based on which we will have the filtered output. So we want to see if the item dot name contains JSON or not. So to do that, let me first give item at the rate item dot name. Okay. In this item dot name, we want to check if this contains uh, JSON or not. So there is something called contains function. So let me choose that. And now let me give JSON as the string value. Let me close this. So now we will be checking if this item dot name contains JSON as its value as part of its name, then we are going to get those 
uh, file names only. Okay, so let me run till this point. So let's wait for this execution to be completed. So yeah, you can see the pipeline is completed. In this get metadata activity, we were able to see all the files that is CSV file as well as JSON files. And if I open this filter activity output, you can see the total item count was 7 uh, from this get metadata activity and we are getting only 3 records as the output after the fil filter condition is matching. Okay, So what are these 3 records? All the 3 records are JSON files. Okay, These are the JSON file names. Now we want to copy only these 3 files. right? So uh, in our previous video also we have talked about for each activity that helps us to iterate through the items of the array. Okay, So we want to iterate through this value property. So let me drag this and let me connect it with filter activity. So now we want to iterate through each of these files that we want to copy. Okay, So let me go to settings and let me give filter activity output and you can see output is coming in uh, value array okay that means file name is coming in this value array so let me give output dot value okay now let me go inside this for each activity and let me use copy activity here to copy each of these uh, files that are coming out of this in that filter activity okay now let me go to this source so let me start creating new source data set pointing to our gen2 account and here let me select json file as the format because we want to copy only json files right so let me select that and here let me choose the linked service and let me go to the folder edls folder and i am not going to select any of these files because i want to parameterize the data set so that it will automatically take uh, only those files which are coming inside this for each okay so let me select that and let me select none for import schema let me click on okay and now let me reopen this data set in order to parameterize it okay so let me uh, go to parameters and create a new parameter called file name okay and in this connection tab let me select that newly created par parameter okay now our data set is parameterized so let me go back to the pipeline and now you can see there is a new parameter here called file name where we can pass the value for this parameter. Okay, So for each of, each of the runs that means for each iteration it will take the file name uh, coming inside this for each. Okay. So let me go to this value and here let me select this item and then we need to give dot name. Okay. Because inside the name property of this filter activity output, we are getting the file names. Okay, So as this value is being treated as item in the for each, okay, this value is treated as the item. So inside that item, we need to give item dot name. Okay, So that's why in this copy activity, I have given item dot name. So similarly in sync, we need to create another data set pointing to ADLS output folder. So let me see, select JSON again and here let me give the link setting and we don't have anything called ADLS output. Okay, So during the runtime we should be able to create the output folder. So let me give ADLS output and uh, again we need to parameterize the file name so I am not giving any hard coded value here and let me uh, just remove import schema and let me reopen this J JSON data set again and here let me create a new parameter called file name and let me select that parameter here let me go back to pipeline and here let me provide the value as item dot name again because we want to have the same name to the uh, in our output folder as well okay so these three names should be same in the output folder so we are uh, good here let me debug this entire pipeline to see if we are only able to copy the json files or not okay so the execution has started let's wait for it to be completed so you can see uh, yeah so you can see three parallel execution has started okay that means it is copying three files in parallel now if i see the get metadata output you can see we are getting csv as well as json records 
and in the filter activity output we are only getting three files that is json files okay three json files and in and you can see three parallel execution for copy data is uh, in progress so now our uh, pipeline execution is completed now let me go back to the storage account and uh, let me go back here and let me refresh so that we can see if adls output folder is generated or not so as it is present now let me go inside this now you can see the three json files got copied so in this process we have ignored the csv file for the data movement only json files are uh, only json files have been copied okay so this was our requirement so we have achieved that with the help of filter activity so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please uh, like the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and also please hit on the bell icon to get notification whenever i add video okay so please stay tuned thank you